Hi, my name is Carrie Shelford. I get the privilege of teaching your students AP US history this year. Um, as you can see, this isn't a normal classroom. I am in the basement. It is glorious and wonderful, and honestly, I would teach in a cave if it meant that I got to have students in class with me. So I'm super happy to be here. A um, little bit about me. I am a King's kid myself. I graduated in 1999. My husband and I both did. Uh, my kids actually are fourth generation King's kids, the first fourth generation that we know of. Um, their great grandpa was a boarder here back in the 50s, so pretty cool. Lots of history there. Um, and let me think here. After, after I graduated, I spent a year at WSU and then I graduated from Western with a history degree and I got my master's in teaching from SPU. So I've made the rounds of Washington schools. My husband played football at WSU, so we are a cougar family in my house, um, and we have a lot of fun with that. So, um, I've this is my second round teaching here at King's. I actually taught about ten years ago. I taught um, speech and debate and journalism for three years, uh, and then I decided to go home and be a mom for a little while. I have an eleven-year-old, and I have an eight-year-old, and I have a four-year-old who has makes they like to make appearances in my remote days. So you may have seen them. I know your students love seeing them. Um, but uh, I feel very blessed to be back at King's again. Um, it was not planned for me to come back last year. It was not in my like my plan. But the Lord's got a plan, and this is it. And I truly believe that with all of my heart. Um, I'm really loving having the opportunity to teach U.S. history and AP U.S. history, I should say. Um, it was my focus um, on my degree. So it's a lot of fun for me to be teaching this right now. And, you know, AP is a very um, content heavy course. It's a college level course. Um, and because of that, there is higher expectations on your students in what they have to do in here. Um, that really falls on the reading, especially because we have such limited time in this format that we're in with the hybrid learning. Create some um, limitations and some struggles that we're working through. I know I'm not the only one, the only teacher that's having that. So, um, but I think that the students have really stepped up. I've been very impressed with how they have kept up on their reading. Um, that's really necessary. Uh, we do not have enough time in this course to go over every single ounce of what is in the text. Um, in class. I am focusing in on the big ideas and trying to make the connections and that's really what the AP um, and the College Board has designated as what they want and the things that they will be asking for on the AP exam are dealing with those big ideas. So that's my intent, that is my goal in here is to allow the kids to interact with the content as much as possible because anytime I think you can interact with content I think you have a lot more um, of a chance of retention of that content. Um, few things we do in here so I, I again I said there is reading which means I do reading quizzes reading checks I should say just kind of keeping kids accountable for what they're reading they're like 10 questions usually once or twice a week depending on how much reading that they have had um, we will do formative assessments and 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 the turn in the uh, as progress checks on the college board just getting them more and more used to that AP formatted questions um, and we will do unit tests for every unit in an AP formatted way as well. Thus far, we have done mostly multiple choice questions um, and started working with uh, the short answers and DBQs and LAQs a little bit, but we're gonna continue to do that more and more. Um, I choose to grade their progress checks as well as their unit tests as the College Board does, which means, um, when I look at their multiple choice, I give that I grade that out of five points, and um, then anything in addition to that is, is separate points. So even if there's 50 questions, it's worth five points, and then and the essay questions and short answer questions are worth different allotments of points as well. I'm trying to do my best to have grading measure up to the College Board grading as much as possible. A three gives your student college credit and um, a three on the, on the uh, AP exam really equals about a 60% on the multiple choice section specifically. So um, I feel as though for grades to align with the goal in this class, it's important to recognize the fact that they're not going to get all of the questions right all the time and that's okay. Um, 
the, it, it's a lot of content to learn and to try to like get stuck in that brain of theirs to be able to function with. So I'm hoping that by doing things this way and kind of having this little bit of a curve involved, their grade will be much more clear reflection of how they will be able to do on that AP exam in the spring. Um, as of right now, I know everyone has signed up to take the test in the spring. Um, I know that the college board this year has determined that they will not have any type of um, uh, cost involved in terms of if you choose to take not take the test at the last minute. So that's something they've taken off of the um, off of the list of things that they can charge you for. So there's no problem with taking or saying you're going to take the test and then deciding later on that you're not interested in taking the test. That's completely up to the student, up to you guys to make that call. Um, but uh, if you have any more questions about that, you can ask me or you can ask Heather Urie. She's a wonderful resource with the College Board as well. Um, we've got, we do a lot in here. We go from 1492 to present. Unless we hear different from the College Board that they're doing some type of modification, that is the course that we are on, which means we have to go through a lot in a semi short period of time. Um, so again, my expectations of your student and their work is, is fairly high and they have really shown me thus far that they're capable, which is awesome. Um, I am a teacher who is, I, I want students grades to be a reflection of, of, of them, not what might be going on around them. So I will always be the teacher that will send messages if I don't see assignments in um, will then message you if I still don't see things in. Um, I want to be an open book on that in that way for everybody. Um, so anytime if you have questions, clarifications, I please let me know. I want to make sure that everybody's on the same page as much as we possibly can be. Um, in terms of the things that um, these OneNote and Teams and how all that's working in my class, I use OneNote as my home base. Everything will be in OneNote. All assignment sheets will be in OneNote. Everything gets turned into OneNote. Um, that is that home base. Teams I use for meetings. I use for uh, the assignment sheet I, or page. I really use as a reminder for students. They do not turn things in there. It's just there to remind them of what needs to get turned into OneNote. Um, and then uh, I also utilize the College Board website, which they're all familiar with at this point. So we've been working well with that. Um, and then the one thing I do differently than some teachers, I, I ask kids to sign in on an attendance page on Teams every day as well so that I don't have to spend a whole bunch of time taking attendance. We have limited time as it is, so I want to try to utilize it as much as well as I possibly can. Um, but that hasn't been an issue. Kids are really good. I always remind them to do it. So other than that, um, you know, I'm just really looking forward to navigating this with your students and being a help as much as possible. I will say I will make myself available in the spring for review sessions prior to the test because I know it can be challenging taking this class in the fall and having so much time before the test. So that will be an option for students to participate in a review session, whether it be a Teams situation or whatever we need to do in order to make that happen because I do want kids to succeed as much as possible. Um, again, if you have questions, please let me know um, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.